The default setting for who has viewing rights to your Panopto videos are those listed in the people area of the particular course that you have your Panopto recording in. Therefore, your video is private to this course and the students in this course. If you create a video in this course but you need to share it to another course, for example, if you have two sections of the same course, when you hover over a video, you'll get a share settings option. Click on share, and here you will see who has access. Right now it's locked down to specific people. You can allow this one video to be shared to anyone at your organization, Salisbury University, who happens to have the link, anyone at the organization, anyone with a link in or outside of the organization, or public on the web. Your permission settings go from the most strict viewing permissions to the most public viewing permissions. If you want to keep your course content private, ID&D recommends keeping your settings set to specific people or anyone at your organization with a link if you need to share it out to someone else at SU. Sharing to anyone at your organization will make your video public to anyone at Salisbury University whether they have the link or not. So be aware of your privacy settings. By default, specific people, the creator, the instructor in the course, and the viewer, all of the students in the course, are the only ones who can see this video. But I can invite people by group, which is what a course is. To invite people, I can click into the search engine and type in the exact name of the course. Now keep in mind, folders only exist for courses where Panopto Recordings has been enabled on the course menu and accessed so that a folder for the course is generated on the Panopto server. If you have not enabled your Panopto Recordings in the other course that you want to share to, you will not have a folder here when you search for it. Once you verify that you have a folder to share to, you can start typing in the name and I was searching for my Salisbury Zoo course. I am the creator. I'm not worried about adding myself in, but I do want the students in my Salisbury Zoo course, my viewers, to have access to this video. So I'll select viewer. I'm going to uncheck notify people via email and I'm going to save changes. And now you'll see that the students in this course and my Salisbury Zoo course will be able to access the same video. I can continue to add as many courses as I would like to. I have just added Salisbury Zoo and my foreign films course to view this video. But what if I wanted all of the videos in this folder to be accessible to the same groups? Instead of updating the share features one video at a time, I can go to the share settings for the main folder, the root folder, which will apply to all videos in the folder. So you only want to make this change if you want all of the videos in the folder to be accessible to the same group. Let me take a moment to send a warning out about changing your access for your course folder in Panopto. If you make your course folder available to anyone at your organization, anyone at SU, then in a way you've made it public to everyone at SU. This means that if a student is looking for a folder to upload a recording into and they can't find the right one, it might end up in your folder. Or if another instructor logs into a computer and uploads into a random folder and forgets to set their own, they might upload it into your course folder. So if you put your folder out there, everyone can access it. So I would caution against changing your folder settings to go beyond anyone at the organization with the link. It's really best practice to keep your folder settings so that only specific people can view it, unless you want to invite particular folders to view it. Now, if you have multiple course folders and you wanted to record a video for your film studies course, but you accidentally recorded it into your Assimilating Korean Culture course, there is a way to move your video from one folder to the other, but you will not have that option in the My Classes instance of Panopto. This is an instance of Panopto that's scaled down and the functionality is reduced so that you have like a shortcut here. But if you want the full functionality of Panopto, you'll click this Open in Panopto icon, which will open your course folder on the Panopto server. When you hover over videos on the Panopto server, you'll notice that you get this additional checkbox that you didn't see when you were accessing Panopto in My Classes. When you click on that box, you will have the option to delete the video, move the video, or edit the share settings. When you click Move, you will be able to select from any other course folder that you have enabled Panopto in to move that recording into. And now when I go back to my Assimilating Korean Culture course, that video automatically disappears because it now lives in a different folder.